Hi, I'm Amelia. I'm a student studying Western Civilization, and today I'm here with Alistair, one of my lecturers, and we're going to answer some of your questions. Looks like I've got the first question. What are some of the coolest jobs your former students are doing? Uh, my students have ended up in all sorts of exciting and interesting places. I guess two of the, the most exciting are the museum sector. I've got some great students working out there, uh, putting together exhibitions, explaining things to people. Um, but I've also produced other students who've gone into the arts. I've got a former student who's a filmmaker, producing films based on the stories and uh, ideas he encountered as part of our courses. So they end up in all sorts of places. What has been the most unexpected thing you've been happy to discover at UQ? Probably definitely like how helpful the, like the university is. Like I came into uni expecting it to be really quite difficult and a, a very like solitary sort of experience. That's what people had told me that it was very, you know, you were alone and you had to fend for yourself. But there's actually like so many um, resources and people that are there to help you. I know like um, the, the student services you know, they call you and that was just such a surprise for me to know that like people actually do care, yeah. What opportunities do your students have to get hands-on experience in our industry? Well, our students go and do a number of placements, for example. At the moment, we've got some students working uh, with the non-profit sector, doing uh, interesting research projects on uh, Indigenous knowledges, reconciliation. Also, research projects involving uh, different communities, social problems, um, uh, homelessness. The idea is that our materials and the kinds of ideas that they're encountering in their courses are preparing them to go into all sorts of different places. What are the most valuable skills you've learned as part of your degree? Um, oh, so there's a lot, but one that does stand out probably is uh, the way in that reading a text can really, you know, echo to to my, you know, contemporary readership. So I'm the reader in the present, um, but I'm engaging with a story that was written years, like thousands of years ago, and and then seeing how that relates to me today, you know. Um, the issues and the attitudes and the values that um, I have are often they can be they can be found um, in the text that I'm reading, and it's really interesting to connect, you know, the past with the present and understand, you know, how we came to be. Yeah. Those stories still echo through to us today. I mean, that's what's really so interesting uh, about them, and we're we're struggling with the legacy, I think, um, but both for, for good and for ill. Yeah, yeah definitely. How do you prepare students for the future when we don't know what the future looks like? It's a good question. Um, the answer is skills, right? Um, so the world is constantly changing. You know, we don't know what the jobs of the future are going to be. All the you know, evidence seems to show that you'll have 17 jobs during your life, five different careers. So the answer is really skills. And we think that the important skills that we believe are going to prepare you for the future are going to be ability to communicate, to express ideas clearly, um, and to research to be able to come up with innovative, original solutions. And it's that combination of research skills and communication skills that we think are going to be the really important ones for the future. And I guess the, the other thing is, of course, you know, the kind of historical perspective that we provide is really crucial. So that idea of that long perspective that um, reading texts from the past gives you uh, we think is going to be really important because you know it's that ability to draw upon the wealth of knowledge and experience that has uh, been occurring over the centuries that we think is going to be absolutely crucial. If you were employing the next Western Civilization graduate, what would you be looking for? Well, I think with a Western Civilization graduate, what you're getting is someone with a, a breadth of knowledge. They've encountered texts that are philosophical, historical, literary, um, from all sorts of different ages, all sorts of different people. So um, it's that breadth that I think is really important. But also they've been thinking about how do those texts speak to contemporary problems? How do they help us uh, think through some of the really wicked issues uh, that we're being confronted with today? So it's that ability to draw upon that wealth of knowledge, um, as well as being able to apply it in a kind of critical, useful manner that I think really defines uh, what makes a Western Civilization student. If you could give me one piece of advice that would set me apart as a job candidate, what would it be? I think it's 
to make yourself original, to be uh, creative. Uh, you know, the idea of uh, you know, madness is described as uh, you know, doing the same thing over and over again and expecting different results. You know, if you're going to make a change, then you need to walk the path that other people aren't walking. And I think being kind of original, distinctive, and creative is the way to go. What have you learned about yourself since you began your studies at UQ? Um, well, I'm just coming up to the end of my, my first semester. And so I think in that you know, sh relatively short amount of time, I have learnt a lot. Um, I feel more confident than when I first started, you know, if I look back to when I did. You know, I was really terrified and, and really scared that I wouldn't be able to do what university asked of me. And so I've learnt that I actually can, I can do, you know, what they ask and, and I'm, I feel more competent and more able and, and I sort of actually enjoy being challenged more than I did at school. And that's given you have confidence to go, go forward. Yeah, definitely. Um, my confidence, yeah, probably has, has grown. I think it, it definitely just has to when you're thrown into a, a new situation like uni um, with, you know, any circumstances. It, yeah, you just definitely um, learn about yourself. Okay, well, I've got the last question. How does the way you learn at UQ teach you the skills you need to face an unknown future? Well, we, we do a lot of, a lot of group work, um, a lot of discussion. I think that's the key part, especially in Western Civilization, is that um, I'm with my peers, you know, my fellow students in the cohort, and, um, you know, we're having, you know, lecturer-driven discussion where, you know, we are sort of guiding ourselves through our learning and listening to, um, listening to one another. And I really enjoy, like, listening to other people's thoughts um, hearing what they have to say because I find that, you know, they then take me further to, to places that I wouldn't, wouldn't have, have gone if I was just thinking by myself. So I think with an unknown future, um, you're sort of surrounded by people. The future will, whatever, no matter what it looks like, will, will be with other people. And so listening to them, definitely. And it's those collaborative skills that I think yeah, are going to really definitely. take us, uh, uh, be so important. Because as you say, you know, we are, we're never alone. We're always surrounded by people. And I think being you know, part of a group, knowing how to kind of work as a group and discuss and come up with creative ideas is going to be really important. Definitely.